guys, it's Kugle again with another ROM review and uh, this time I've got Euphoria OS version 1.1 official for the Nexus 5 so let's stay for that. So guys, here I have the Euphoria OS for the Nexus 5 and it is really really cool. I have been looking for a very good daily driver for myself because well uh, news I don't have my Z3 anymore it's in repair so I have a different I needed a different daily driver so I actually chose this one I did go for a lot of other ROMs and uh, well this is where I ended up. So let's get to the ROM now first of all uh, in the settings menu you would see in the about phone page you can see it is normal uh, it is Android uh, 5.1.1 which is the latest version of Android stable for our device with well, there is a preview of M it is Nexus 5 and you do have an OTA center which is really cool you can see in there it is the one point version 1.1 Hammerhead which is our device and this is released on 6915 which is which does not have the latest version of uh, the R version it is R17 my belief it is build number LY L uh, VY48E if you know what that means that's awesome so you can actually see that so uh, in the in the phone setting why did I choose this ROM as my daily driver okay uh, in my last Nexus 5 review, uh, I used Chroma ROM and that has been my daily driver for some time now it, because it is super stable, it has very good battery life and it has features. I'm gonna say it has features. But the problem is it didn't have enough features for me. Uh, I personally am a very very strong advocate of features over uh, stability because I like more features than stable ROM because that's just how I roll so uh, this does have a lot of features uh, at least the features which keeps me interested in using this ROM this uh, this phone so that's really cool now let's get to the uh, settings now in the in the settings it doesn't really have something else or the a different setting name like chroma uh, or uh, minimal os uh, how it had the sound page you, sound settings you can see it has normal settings and it also has vibration intensity which i actually missed in my chroma rom so that is why that is one of the reason i actually switched in the display setting you do have ambient display it does have dose mode which i really really liked and it does have overrate value of uh, brightness and auto brightness brightness level all of that can be selected that's really really cool shake setting now shake uh, the, it does have a few options for shake now double tap to sleep the, uh, the status bar to turn off this display uh, rotation cast screen screen recorder animations in the animation settings you do have a lot of animation settings like toast animation you can actually select that scrolling cache you can enable disable or whatever do whatever you want with that that's also really cool system animation is the um, AOKP system animation setting you can actually change all that that is really really cool so you do have an option for that live display is also an option you can actually change the color calibration of your screen to match the time of the day to uh, better suit your eyes so that is also really really cool now in notification settings you do have options for interruptions uh, heads up notification all of these can be accessed and this is the expanded style of uh, heads up notification settings you do have a lot of options here which is really really cool uh, interruption settings you can actually select what all are interruptions uh, uh, where is well this is mainly a do not disturb stuff so you can actually have that in the lock screen settings you can actually enable the, all of these which is normal which is nothing special there shortcuts so that is something cool you can actually change the shortcuts in the uh, in the lock screen which is long press lock icon to enable torch that's also really cool i use torch on my phone a lot and i use it a lot often than most people so i actually appreciate such menus which will enable me to use that so that's really cool in the buttons option you can actually enable the navigation bar or disable that and have um, well a much bigger real estate and actually enable pie controls so that is something which i really really liked enable that and then with Pi controls you can actually use everything there so that's also really nice for most people to work with because uh, well navigation bar is not the biggest thing and you can actually uh, select back and all that 
here and it, it does work I mean uh, it is a very good way to use your phone without the navigation bar Pi controls does really work now you can actually change a lot of stuff here like uh, double tap to sleep uh, show arrows while typing all of that is available uh, dim navigation button which is the dim slim dim option you can actually have that dim out after a while without using that so just you sell that uh, navigation ring you can enable that power button so now hardware keys you can also change hardware key layout uh, power button is the only one and the volume button power button you can actually change uh, what all appears here so that is also available really nice and call with a uh, power button well, uh, wake up device with the volume button playback controls all of that can be controlled that is really cool now the battery life now I like good battery life and I like more features and uh, I have been very unlucky to not find both of them in uh, any single ROM and this seems to be an exception this has all the features which I would like to have in a daily driver and still it has a very very good battery life and well I guess this is probably going to be my daily driver for some time now because it does really work so yeah good battery life it does have silent gem or theme engine which is really cool I mean you can use that and uh, do stuff with that so it's really nice status bar option the status bar option you do have clock styles uh, like center left and hidden you can actually change that you can use that uh, date option date format date uh, it can be hidden or whatever I normally use center clock with a small date and small AM PM indicator whether on the status bar temperature weather temperature you can also have that settings now you can actually change how your weather panel is you can have it to be uh, monochrome you can change the color whatever you want you can actually change that network traffic indicator breathing notification is something which i really appreciate uh, battery style you can actually have it circle or whatever you want carrier label key guard carrier you can actually have that brightness control by sliding across the status bar is also really nice i really use that so that's nice super user indicator on the status bar it does have an inbuilt super user like cm rom so you do have that so that's really nice notification drawer now this is a quick setting panel you can have vibrate on touch force expand task manager which i normally use because it is really cool custom header image you can actually change the header image to suit the time of the day uh, show four tiles you can you and you have a beast amount of uh, tiles and it's nothing overwhelming these are most of the stuff are this most of the stuff are what you would use in a name on a daily basis so i really appreciate that uh, it even has pie controls it even has uh, color conversion all of that is working i really like that advanced location settings all of that is working multitasking in the multitasking which is the recent menu you can actually have a you can actually show only the running apps app sidebar which is pretty cool you can actually enable app sidebar and it does work now you do have AOSP recent panel also so you can actually enable search bar clear all button clear all, all button locations clear all task or just enable the uh, foreground task you can also have that slim recent panel is also an option you can actually opt for slim recent panel if you like that more so it's really cool I mean a lot of people uh, prefer slim recent to the AOSP style recent panel because I don't know I have no preference like that I normally like AOSP recent panel so yeah. Now rest of the settings are similar to what you would expect in any other lollipop roms nothing special but all of these settings which I just uh, told you guys it is well in a way what I personally like the most about a custom rom that is why I choose this to be my personal daily driver so that is really cool so yeah you guys the boot animation which is really cool I mean I really like that boot animation in here so yeah so there you have it that is the boot animation for Euphoria OS for Nexus 5 it's really nice it's basic but it actually gives you the message so that's really nice let's get to the other stuff now in the apps you don't have much you do have uh, everything which you need you you even have the camera which is a standard lollipop camera which is uh, nothing special it doesn't even have HDR so it's it's there for uh, you people to use it so it's nothing that so yeah let me show you guys the Antutu benchmark score which is pretty cool uh yeah so guys uh i couldn't actually finish the full uh benchmarking but uh hell i have a semi 
score for you guys it couldn't actually finish the 3d graphics testing so that's why there's a zero there apart from that this is the score well you can actually check with whatever you have and uh, uh, well kind of make a view of what it, it should be so yeah in my opinion it was a very very good ROM for me and it really is a very good performing ROM so yeah I guess that much is it about the ROM in the conclusion I would like to say that this ROM has won me over as my daily driver from Chroma because Chroma had a good stable base but that was not enough features for me to actually use the phone in my daily drive so this ROM though has the features has the stability and the battery life to actually get me through the day and I really really like this ROM so yeah I hope that is it about the ROM hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye